What's up, Camelot? It's Hap and Dragon. Welcome back or welcome to my channel and Happy New Year! This is my first video of 2022. Let's hope this year, you know, is better than the last two. For my first video of 2022, I thought I'd show you all my Merlin collection in the full and talk about it. This famous Merlin collection has, you know, brought a lot of people's attention to me, especially through Instagram, and I know a lot of people like it, so I thought I'd show you guys. Also, I like talking about it. <laughs> you know, I thought I'd share the joy, the beauty, and the evidence of my crazy obsession with a silly dead TV show. <laughs> so my Merlin collection basically consists of this little shelf compartment that is the most like showy collection thingy in my room but I also have some clothing items <laughs> and art that I have splattered around my room so I try to show you really everything. Let's get to it. Let's get close and comfortable. <laughs> I don't like this angle, <laughs> but we'll work with it. Um, I mean, how do we start this? You can see everything, I guess. Let's go through everything. We've got these little figurines. They are called the action figurines. Those are official Merlin merch. I guess I'm just gonna have to mess things up, am I? I'm just gonna have to mess things up, am I? Okay, you've got those four babies. They're not that pretty, you got it. Like, if you're really honest, the likeliness, the, the prettiness isn't really what I bought it for. Let's say that. Some accessories like Excalibur and Atuza. You can't see them, but I got Gaius and Uther down because I don't really care much about having those two. So they're not part of the collection corner. Sorry. I do like you guys and I do like the actor of Uther, but I don't care. Also Kilgara. Actually recently decided to put him in this corner because I feel like I do really like dragons and I have my love-hate relationship with him, but I'm gonna try to first show everything with official merch and then fan merch. We got the top trump cards that I got recently. Um, it's a game. I haven't played it yet. I want to play it. I don't just want to like display it. I actually want to play it. Um, yeah, so it's a card game. Then we got... Oh, wow. Uh, this shit always happens when I try to move around things. I should have known. I should know by now this bitch don't like me moving it around. Okay, so we got the Merlin DVD box. This is the complete series collection. It has 24... 24? 24, 24, yeah. That's how you say it. Wow. Acting like I don't know how to say 24. 24 DVD discs. And it came with four magnets of the four main characters, but they're up my wall, so you will see them later. I love the cover. Now you got all of them. Is it on? No. <laughs> Whatever. Should I show you all the, the covers? I mean, I guess. If this. There you go. It's falling. It's okay. There you go. Ooh, I love this one! Gwen is not on this one, so I don't like it. Mediocre. Gwen is not on this one. Mediocre. Why the dragon? Okay, I know I get why the dragon. The first episode is literally called The Dragon's Call. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, also, this was the latest version you could get. Um, USA version. There is a other newer version. And it's a UK version. And I'm really tempted to buy it. The cover looks great. I don't know if I can like show a picture here. The cover looks really great. It's more kind of my style, like a bit more brownish aesthetics. Gwen is on the cover, like the four are on the cover. I love it so much. And it has more discs. Like, do I actually use the DVDs? No, because I got Netflix 
and I also have them downloaded on my computer. But still, it has more. So I like, I just, just wanted to have it. There also seems to be this UK cover, which is absolutely beautiful, and it has 27 discs. But I can't find it being sold anywhere or what the date is, so I think this one is older. Next, you got the book collection, which is what I always get comments on. And oh my god, people don't know how to Google. <laughs> like, how do you think I got all this shit? Literally, sometimes questions on my Instagram, I'm like... I don't know if it's a me thing, it's a me brain thing, or a diversion brain thing, but like, I get annoyed by questions that you can find out yourself. If I was like, I was gonna see if I was like an expert in something, it would make sense, and maybe, maybe in some ways I'm kind of seen as, not an expert, but like, knowledgeable on merch and the whole series, I guess, but Google! So these are the books. They are novelizations of some of the episodes. They never did all of the episodes. There's like, what, 12 or something? Um, I haven't read them all yet. But I have read three? One, two. Oh, I've read four! I've read four of them already. I do plan to actually read them, maybe even challenge myself and vlog it for YouTube and then kind of review them and just share some stuff with you guys. Um, so yeah, I do plan to actually read them. <laughs> I'm not going to... Uh, show you all the covers because I think I don't think I deleted that video. I have a video on YouTube where I talk about the books. I think. Oh, on Instagram. <sighs> Up next, official merch. We got the. Oh, not you. <laughs> we got the official. What is it called? The official annuals. They're kind of like more activity kind of books there's a little bit of description going on and then there's some like games in them so i think i also showed them in whatever video i made but i don't know and then i got this is a well, I haven't actually finished. Oh no, I have finished everything official. I have. So this is a fan-made zine anthology. A BBC Merlin 10 year anniversary. Anniversary? <laughs> anniversary, fantology. Fantology? I don't know how you say it. Cold Resurrection. I actually participated in this. In 2017, I finished my first ever fic for this. I still haven't posted it on my AO3 because it sucks but i do like the id so i really should revisit it rewrite it i did this because i was like oh my god a fandom thing and if i participate i get it for free but honestly have i read all the things in here no because at that point in my life i was already like <laughs> fandom navigation has to be a little bit more safe these days you know there's a lot of racism and so i don't just read any fic and this already with the goodies i had all the goodies and the book and there was like one gwen thing so i realized that i forgot to show you the gwen thing and this whole tote back in the rest of my video so i will do that very quickly now this is the gwen uh goodie from the kickstarter and then the merlin a cover picture from the Kickstarter. This was also from the Kickstarter. And then this beautiful pin, Mordred did nothing wrong in their life ever. And this tote bag, which is my own design. You can also get it on Redbubble. Okay. But yeah, I haven't read I haven't read them because I just I'm too scared of seeing bias writing. And I'm not interested in Murther writing and I feel like so many of them is just gonna be Murther. I got this this was from the Kickstarter, by the way. I love it, it's really beautiful. I got these bookmarks, magnetic, magnetic, magnetic bookmarks, uh, made by a friend of mine. So cool. This badge that says Once Future Bisexual King that I made myself. Okay, let's actually get to the main stars of the show. Um, I hope you can see it clearly, but this is an OT tree art that I bought from someone. I love it. This one is also OT Tree Pouch. This one I remember I got it from MC Catcher, I guess, I think, on Society6. Uh, the OT3, you can see them. I'm not gonna move them too much. They, they've been falling so much in this video already. 
Um, I commissioned someone on Etsy, a Funko custom maker, and I commissioned the three. The Etsy maker had Arthur and uh, Merlin already, obviously, and I asked for Gwen, and now they have Gwen and Morgana. Thank me later. I don't remember that name. And then I made these two because I was inspired because I was like, you know what? I'm not. I don't know. I just felt like when I asked them to modify things, they weren't fully open to it, which I can understand when you have a vision as an artist. Um, but it made me interested in kind of exploring this whole process of making custom pops myself. And so I made these two. I made this one at first. Her head is a little bit there were some malfunctions, but I love it. Uh, and then I remade this one because I've, this is one of my favorite outfits and I love it, but I thought that her skin color was too yellow-ish. And yes, my skin colors are darker, but i rather them be too dark than too light. It's also just because like I was figuring things out, so like I didn't really know that this painting got darker and darker as you layered so I wasn't expecting it to be this dark but I don't mind so yeah that's it for the corner um I'll try to show you guys the rest that I have this bitch don't fucking stand right I need to try that warm water method again because bitch stand straight I know you're not straight but still okay so clothing wise I have this sweater that I actually uh made myself so like i cut out the merlin logo cleaned it out as best as possible edited it out and put it myself on redbubble so that i could get it and so it's on redbubble for anyone else who would want to get it uh and not do it themselves i actually bought two and <laughs> i have an obsession with cutting things uh and i cut this one into a crop top because i can then i have this one yes it's not ironed. I was not going to iron it just for the video. This one is the Merlin um, thing logo, but in like the the Friends logo font thing, which is also to find on my Redbubble, by the way. Go on my Redbubble. I will love you forever. Take pictures. Some people be getting my stuff and don't be sending me pictures. Like I want to see you in my stuff. Like I know this is like basic, so you. Yeah. Okay, but I got other stuff edits on there and like nobody be sending me what they get Except my best friend. Love you. Then I got this one who also used to be a t-shirt. This is also one of my designs, but um I cut it. I actually badly cut it, but I just used it as pajama It was getting too tight on me and so I thought I'd cut it. And I got this one Which used to be a sweater too that I cut because it was too small. I made a tweet once that said I'd be cutting through these shirts like Mordred cut through Arthur. I used to be funny. And then I do have this one which is not technically Merlin merch but Angel Kobe made this for I don't remember which earthquake relief but so you could get this and she would use the money to give to the funds of this thing. Uh, it says where am I going what am I doing and I thought it was like a real mood so I got it <laughs> one of my first ever merch that I got was this Merther whatever you call this notebook oh my god English I got this note Merther notebook um, in it is I don't know how I'm gonna show you guys this some Merther arts oh Versailles arts too I made a little like I don't know what kind of scrap book the booked the thing. This is a sticker that I got on Redbubble which shows all the knights with Merlin in like a cute situation that fits them and I got this signed by Tom and by Rupert. I still have this cute Excalibur art that I haven't put up yet because I don't really- I like to use it as a bookmark you know so I haven't decided if I want to actually hang it up. I still have this art that I haven't used yet and this one well, this is just the Merlin logo again. Um, I'm gonna probably put this one on my thermos. These two that I printed out myself, which are also my designs. On the Kickstarter, I have three pieces of art that I didn't use. Um, let me show you them. You got the Morgana one. A Arthur one. It's like a pretty realistic style. And then this one. 
So the thing is, I think they're great. Obviously, like I couldn't do it. I couldn't draw this. I think it's great. It's just not my personal style. Anyways, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a giveaway one day. Um, I don't know. Well, technically now you've seen everything that isn't on my walls, my pin board, and my desk and laptop. Um, so I guess I'll try to bring you over to these places. How? I don't know. We'll see. Well, you'll get to see the end results. So up on my walls, we got these. They used to be bookmarks, but I just thought they would look really cute between these two art pieces. And so I put my bookmarks that I made myself, not the stickers. I used the stickers. I made the rest. Like in the little Merlin font. I put all the knights on here. I thought it looked good. And I actually forgot to show you the other bookmarks. They are on my shelf. I'll show you later. I've got the main star of the show, the Arwen Arts. I love it so much. This one, this is like a stained glass kind of thing and I pray to it every night and day for my Lord and Saviors. Amen. <laughs> then this one, uh, I love it so much. The colors, the hard edges of Arthur melting into the heart, to the soft edges of Gwen, the little crown, the fact that his jacket is like stylish. Also, I don't know if it's a me thing, but I feel like the motifs on Gwen's corset feel like Arthur. It's like melting. He's like melting into her and he's making the motifs. I don't know, whatever. We got some OT4 art and some Morgana. Here we have some Angel, Kobe, and Tommy Wa Aiden because I'm in love with them. And then surprise, surprise, another OT3 art. I love the visual of Merlin making Arthur king and Arthur making Gwen king. Though I have on Instagram talked about this. How I feel that Merlin is more a protector, although I do think he has obviously helped changed and shaped Arthur. I think when Arthur started seeing Gwen and loving her, seeing how open and soft she was, how she saw justice really like opened his eyes up and he really listened to her and I think loving her was the turning point in his character development. But I digress, let's actually look at the rest of the art. Here we have my desk area uh, and on here I have some Merlin art. More to the Pages Club because he never did anything wrong in his life ever. Long live the queen because the king did not obsess with this. And Gwen and Elian chasing Fox. And this is my design. I hope you find what you're looking for. I got these three. OT3 again. Uh, they were like a pamphlet that I cut just the pictures of the OT4. You saw Morgana on the other side. And then the magnets that came with the DVD box. This I got from a friend. <laughs> which I use every Christmas as a little decor. This is one of my pins again. Here we have this beautiful art of Gwen. This beauty right here. I'm obsessed with this. A friend of mine, um, Blue J Arts, made this after a meme that I made and I've been obsessed ever since. I don't think they understand how much I love this in their art style. These are self-printed little pictures of my babies. On here, well, I've got this thank you card from the OT3 art that I got. Ugh, obsessed. I got two OT3 art for the price of one. This from my friend that also did the meme art. I just am obsessed with their art style. Like, look at this. How cool is this? Anyways, um, some buttons. Found them on Etsy. Some buttons here too. Also found them on Etsy. I don't remember. That was years ago. And then these three are from the Kickstarter. We got Good Morgana. Bad Morgana. You got Merlin and Etuza. And then you got Kilgara. Etuza. Etuza. I think that's it on here. Then we have my laptop. Let me turn it around. On my laptop, you've got the old version of my I hope you find what you're looking for art sticker thing that I made. And then yeah, a few little other Merlin stickers. This one was from the Kickstarter. This one was from the Kickstarter. These are absolutely amazing. These are, the rest are from Redbubble. Yeah. Oh. The little ones and the long ones are from Redbubble. 
Okay, so I forgot to show you guys these bookmarks. This one was also from the Kickstarter. And then these are the DIY bookmarks that I made of the OT4. Hop and hop. There you go. All right, so this is the wall of fame. <laughs> it's just my door. But yeah, this is all the times that I met a celebrity. I met the trio, uh, Alex, Tom, and Rupert at Will's Comic Con. Then I met Alex again and Tom again. I don't really stan them as much anymore, but I still cherish these moments. To me, you know, that was a really big moment for me. And they are, you know, the faces of characters that I cherish, of a show that I cherish and brings me a lot of joy, so. This is my cup that I also made and is now available on Redbubble. Uh, I used it so much that I kind of damaged it. It's supposed to be two sides. Uh, so now I'm using it as a cup holder. I love it so much. I think that was everything. I hope. I hope you can understand that with all the shit that I got, I, I can't really tell you where I got everything in detail. Like here and there I told you the main merch I got by googling it and you know some of them finding them through thrift online shops or Amazon and eBay. Those are the main things I think for the books and DVD box, Amazon, eBay, other similar uh, stuff of your own country maybe. Um, and thrift stores, thrift bookstores for these one online. You know, for the rest, I, I can't really help you more than that. I got a lot of stickers on Redbubble. I got my clothes are all from Redbubble. The pops Etsy, like I said before. The buttons also Etsy. The posters I got on Redbubble too. For the rest, yeah. I, that's all I can say, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let me know what your favorite piece of merch is that I have. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any merch and what it is. And for the love of Camelot, I will see you in my next video. Bye! Also, I forgot to tell you that I got custom Funko Pop boxes from my OT3 custom Funko Pop orders. So yeah, here they are.